Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So guys, it's finally back. We finally are getting ourselves the guaranteed legendary from Sacreds coming back after so many months. The last one that they actually did was back in July. And back then they did Neck Mosar, which was obviously a pretty insane, uh, pretty insane champion. I'm really happy that I managed to get him. It's everything's, you know, it's amazing. They've, they're throwing us like some 10 X's in there. They're throwing some other stuff. But you know, what? let's let's have a look at their announcement for it. So to celebrate Cyber Week uh, in Raid, we got a bunch of opportunities coming up to strengthen your champion collection. Pull shards, pull shards, pull shards. Obviously, so they got three summoning boosts. First on Monday, they got uh, 10 times going on for more to Macab. And Hefrak from Ancient and Sacred Shards, you know, pretty good champions for sake of Arena. So whales are obviously gonna whale if they if they want these champions, because ancients you can continuously buy just by buying. Like you know, if you're somebody that's a whale, I guess you should already know if you go into the shop and if you go into the where is it? I think it's the gem shop. No bank. So whales, like people have like billions of dollars, they just keep buying this over and over and over and over again, and then they go and keep buying ancients, depending how many Mortimer cubs or half frag they need, and they're gonna keep going for that. Then at the same time we have from Monday, we have a 10 times going on for Ecclesia from Void Shards. Honestly, if you know you're close to Mercy, I would 100% uh, tell you yes, Paul, because Ecclesia is insane for, you know, for all of your account. There's some crazy stuff going on for Fire Knight, crazy stuff going on for Spider, any new king that you need. She can be good in Clan Boss, she can be good in uh, Hydra, like she's arguably... The best, if actually, no, not arguably, actually the best damage dealer for the sake of Hydra, in my opinion. Like, from what I've tested, I've seen, she's insane. So if you're close, maybe just go for this one. It's definitely worth it. Then also, she they're launching a guaranteed champion event to give us the opportunity to get ourselves on a powerful legendary uh, magic champion from Silver Watchers, Elva Autumn Board. Uh, what else they say? Oh yeah, then there's also the amazing champion training that's going on. I guess this depends on your levels. You might, you have a chance to get either Battle Khazar or Durandal, as they show in here. <clears throat> so if I look, for example, in my group, if I go to the tournament, if I go to champion training tournament, because I'm level 100, I have a chance to get Battle Khazar. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for him. I might go for him, you know, but still, I'm, I'm excited about the guaranteed, the, the guarantee for the sake of Elva Autumnburn. However, it seems like Plarium always finds a way to fuck things up. If we go into the in game, if we go into the announcements, we scroll down, we have the same thing about the 10 times, same thing about the Crisia, and then it shows you, you know, shows how the 10 times works, the period, blah, blah, blah. And then we get down to the guaranteed part. Let me move myself a little bit more. So if you go down here, let me see. Okay, sacred. Okay, so it's summoning uh, using sacreds. The shards while the guaranteed champion event is active, you're guaranteed to get Elva Ottenbor by your 20th shard. Plarium, are you mad? Like, what's going on? Why do they keep doing this? Like, for the last month, they keep fucking things over and over and over and over again. Like, why? It's, I don't know, it's just mind-blowing. It seems like they just want to piss off everybody. Like, this is the highest we've had. We've had 12, we have 15. I think those were the, the two ways that we had. And now they throw 20. I mean, if you give me a Duchess or a Kaimar for 20, or like, I don't know, somebody that's like extremely insane good, I'm gonna get it. Even Can Kendrophon was for 15. Like, what the hell is this? Why does it cost 20 Sacreds? Like, don't get me wrong, I have the Sacreds because I've been saving. I haven't been buying shards at all because I'm never gonna support shit like this anymore. I'm sorry. But why 20? Like, how good is she? Let me, maybe I'm missing something. Let me have a look at the kit again, because this is just mind blowing. It's, it's just crazy. I, I don't get it. Let's see. So on the A1, places continuous heal uh, buff for tutors on the ally with the lowest HP. So basically half, uh, half of what Tuhanorak does. Tuhanorak places it on herself and the ally with the lowest HP. So this one, she's worse than a Tuhanorak. <clears throat> then on the A2, after it's booked, uh, three times cooldown, 100% chance of cleansing. Then places block debuffs and increase speed buff on all allies for two turns. That's a really good skill. I'm not gonna lie, that's a really good skill. It's fine, like I could see, for example, uh, I'm definitely gonna go for her, like I said, even though I'm pissed off at the 20 secrets, but this could make her be my fast cleanser. Like instead, I, I can remove, uh, I can remove what's her face, Mithrala from that role, and she could be like my anti-hedgy champion, that, you know, or like anti-Tormin, whatever. She would be the fastest cleanse 
and then put block buffs and increase uh, block debuffs uh, buff and increase speed. Okay, that's good. That's a good skill. Then on the A3, three turn cooldown revives a target ally with 40% HP and 50% thermometer, then places increased defense and increased attack on that ally for two turns. It's a single target revive. I, okay, it's a three turn, but it, I'm not sure it's that good. Like, okay, it's good. I'm not gonna lie, her kid is good, but still. Come on, heals each ally by 10% of their max HP uh, at the start of their turn. So she has kind of like a, you know, a passive passive cleanse, kind of like a Sifi. Places a perfect veil buff for one turn on the ally with the lowest HP at the end of this champion's turn. So throws random buffs again. With this one, random buff. With this one, random buff. So unless you have full high resist for the sake of a Hydra, I don't see it used. I, I can see her more being used for progression and for the sake of the, the arena maybe. And then increases ally speed in all battles by 19%. This is low. If you care about arena, just put this 30 for arena. Because she's specifically for arena. Or make this 24 in all battles. Base speed is pretty good. Base stats are pretty good. But still, I'm not sure for people that you know have a hard time collecting 20 sacreds. If it's actually that worth. I mean, it's only 5 difference. But still, this is insane. Like, I don't know. I'm definitely, like I said, I'm going to be going for her because... Uh, as I said and I'm showing you, I have 28 sacreds, all free to play just from 3v3 shop, from the Doom Tower, from what the clan boss gave me. I've been saving like at least 15 for uh, for quite a while. So yeah, I have the shots to go for. But imagine like this. Imagine you're one of the ones that you're watching right now and you have 15. Good luck getting in the next two days another what? Uh, five sacreds to get to 20. You're kind of going to have to pray to Aaron Jesus that the clan boss gives you a ton of them. Or you have to pray that you're close to the monthly one, that you're close to the 3v3 one. If you're at the point where you're in gold and you can get that one, let me buy these things. So if you already bought this, you're kind of screwed over. Or, you know what, what else could you do? You could actually uh, pray that you would uh, get the ones from Doom Tower. But guess what? The Doom Tower just reset. There's no way you're going to get there. Doesn't matter how you push. You're not going to get enough gold keys to get to these two ones. This is going to take, what, another 10 days. The event starts tomorrow and it finishes the next day. Plarium Wire. I mean, it starts, wait, it starts tomorrow and it finishes in, in two days, right? Because that's how they usually do the guaranteed. 28th up until the 29th. Uh, that one, 29th until Thursday. So it's two days. Good luck getting in, like, you know, hopefully you got some today. But good luck getting another five sacreds, as I mentioned. <sighs> Plarium, why do you keep... The, like, guys, I don't know. Leave it in the comments below. Maybe you guys can tell me. Because we've been ranting and telling them, like, what the hell is going on? Why do they keep doing stupid shit like this? It's I swear, they're doing this to piss us off on purpose. I'm happy that the guarantee from Sacreds is back, but why do they have to raise it? Why do they keep have to raising the bar more and more and more and more and just keep frozen, uh, uh, no, fr uh, keep uh, forcing people's hands to buy stuff? They gave us the Cyber Monday. Wow, we got some rewards. Four stat chicken, some, some energy, and a Lego book. Yes, we're going to get this Lego book if we buy another five Sacreds to use on Elva. That's amazing. That's amazing, Plarium. Thank you very much. Anyway, I've ranted, unfortunately, again today, but yeah. Let me just, I don't know. Leave, leave it in the comments below, guys. Are you going to go for this event or are you just going to skip it? What's, what's your thoughts on this one? I will be going for it because I've been saving my secrets for quite a while for that. So, might as well just go and do it, but I'm definitely not happy. Anyway, this is going to be for the video today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace.